Okay, so we're back again, and we're going to do this as a second video because Bagheera has a, an excellent question, but it's on a more serious note. So go ahead with your question. Okay, the question is, um, I see a lot of YouTube videos where people suggest working with ancestors um, and setting up altars to ancestors. Right. But sometimes people come from dysfunctional families or they're adopted or they have just family members that were not helpful that they didn't they didn't want the best for them so should those people set up a altar and worship their ancestors if if they come from those circumstances i don't i don't think so i don't uh, not worship anyway um i think because i'm adopted uh, this is something that, this is my, my opinion on, my outlook on this, is being adopted, I know a couple of things. I know my bloodline, I just don't know the actual names of the people that were my biological family. So I know the bloodlines that, like I know I have Germanic, Scott, and uh, English bloodlines in me. So I know of the basic generic bloodline background. So if I want to, if that calls to me to follow a Germanic or Celtic ancestry and learn more about that, you know, that would be one way of kind of honoring that. But I can't actually honor the people. But when you're adopted, and this goes back to Roman days, because um, Romans started adoption, and to choose to adopt a child, it's a choice and it actually holds more legal power than a biological child in a lot of ways. So to me, like to me, my dad here, he's not my biological dad. And he's not even my adoptive father. He was my stepdad, but he chose to be my dad. So I honor him and his ancestry. I think for most people, you find the people that are most influential and meaningful and helpful to you and you just honor those people. Like if you had an abusive family member in your life, I don't think you're obligated in any kind of way to honor their memory or put them up on your ancestor altar. Of course, you also don't need to spend your time hating them or, you know, if anything, pity them and feel sorry for them and hope they have a better afterlife or next life or whatever the case may be. But I would just pick the people that you do honor and honor them. Regardless of, of your birth, you know, I, I, people put a lot into birth and, and bloodlines. However, I've seen people that are like blood family treat each other worse than enemies. And I've seen people that have no bloodline in common whatsoever treat each other better than family. So I think it's better to honor the qualities of people that you do respect and that were there for you whether they're family or not. So if I was gonna have, say, an ancestor altar, I would pick the people that were influential and helpful and meaningful in my life and honor their memory. That would be me. I don't feel obligated to go on some quest to find some bloodline, da 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 Does that make sense? Yeah. Does yeah. it matter with religion? Like? No, not to me. Well, like, if you had family members and they were, like, fanatics, like Christian fanatics or some other religion other than the one that we currently follow. What about it? Do you think that they would want to be honored? Um, yes. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> because... You know, what people, what they hold to, what they hold true here in the physical, I think you're released from a lot of that limit, limiting belief on the other side. And it, at the end of it all, when you're free from it and you're on the other side, who wouldn't want to be remembered with respect and love? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I wasn't raised in a religious family and I wasn't... <laughs> I know a lot of people with a lot of different, like, religious backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, 
And I think any of them would be honored or happy for me to honor them. So I don't see it as a conflict, but I don't have those hangups because I wasn't raised with them. For some other people, if it's a hangup for you, don't do it. If you think it would piss them off in your mind, you think they'd be pissed, don't do it, you know? But I don't, I think if you do it respectfully, why not? If somebody prays for me, I'm not offended. Yeah. I'm not offended. It doesn't matter what religion they are either. There's prayers in all different kinds of religions. If you want to hope some good for me, great. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'm not mad. You know, <laughs> you don't have to do it my way. But that's me. So what do you think? Um, I like your answer. Um, I have I have an altar. It's it's kind of like a space more than an altar to yeah. my um, ancestors and relatives. Yeah. Um, the ones that I that I knew, uh, <laughs> the ones that I knew, she's shedding. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for showing your here. <laughs> the ones that I knew were uh, very Christian. So. So, when you have an on your ancestor altar, so what do you have like pictures of the people you're honoring? No, I don't have pictures. Um, my main person is my grandmother. Right. So I have a couple of things that she liked, uh, like her favorite drink, uh, her favorite candy, and then her favorite, I have some stones mm -hmm. um, that were her favorite color. Yes. And then everyone else, um, I don't have pictures of other relatives. Because when I came along, her parents and a lot of her family member, her like cousins and things, had died. Cause my mother had me quite quite late. Mm -hmm. um, so the pictures that I have are just of their tombstones. Okay. Yeah. So I don't. I'm not really sure about putting those up, but I have pictures. And then everybody else, like my family, they didn't really talk about where they came from and things like that. So I don't really know that much. So it's kind of like, just. Are you curious? Like, would you go on ancestry.com or do a bloodline thing? Or are you that curious about it? No. Cause people have been asking me that my whole life cause I'm adopted. Like, oh, don't you want to find out? You know, no. not me either. <laughs> no, I, I actually, that type of stuff doesn't jog my interest Simple, not even yeah. like knowing like some people they want to know like what like, star seed they are what um, what's something else they want to know like star seed oh they want to know their birth chart did it did it shut off again no i'm oh, just trying they to want to know their like their stuff on their birth chart or their natal chart well, i like to know about my birth chart I think it's that's my current personal energy to work with. Yeah. But it doesn't rule my life. Like, I don't yeah. let it dictate every decision kind of thing. Yeah. It's just like a general energy yeah. thing. But it's interesting how accurate they are. Huh? It's interesting how accurate they can be. Yeah. Have yes. you done your birth chart? I, I looked it up online. Yeah? When you, um, that video you told me to go watch. I but... remember. <laughs> Okay, so would you ever go on Ancestry.com? No, um, I'm not really um, interested to really know. You know, it doesn't really um, like affect my my daily my daily life. You know, um, you know, I'm fine. I'm I'm fine with who I am, but um, I, you know, maybe later um, I might be interested in that, but. Not right now. Yeah. No. Have you ever done that? No. Oh. Um. My dad here, he's had family that have done that, and they've come to us asking for pictures or whatever, so they could do the family tree. But I've never done it for myself. I've never done any kind of trace back or anything like that. Yeah. And my adoptive parents actually gave me several different stories about my birth parents, and I don't know which one's true, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> which is messed up, but anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, for me, 
an ancestor or you know honoring those who have passed type altar i wouldn't even necessarily say ancestor i would just say honoring those who have passed or who were like significant in my life mm -hmm. they don't have to be related at all so for me it would be very different i guess it's nice neat and clean if somebody just born into a family that knows all their ancestry and all that. But I don't think for most people these days it's that clear cut anymore as it used to be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's cool if you have it like that. I know my dad here, I know his family history back centuries. Mm -hmm. But my, but, but I'm, that's not my bloodline. Right. But that is the most influential family in my life. I don't know. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. That's cool. I think mine would be kind of complicated because I have, I would have to look up several last names. The, the last name that I have isn't the one I was born with. No? No. It was changed. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. It's still a blood name name it yeah but that's not the one that i was i got i got yeah. you i got you okay yeah. i some i've considered doing something similar but i won't changing just, your name changing my last name no. yeah. from my from i mean my, my married name because i'm divorced but you know that would be stupid when i've got my kids in school and all that like that would just be weird maybe later in life i'll change i don't know well that's what my mom, my mom did <laughs> So she changed. I just think it would be awkward, like unnecessarily awkward. I've got three more years of the twins in high school, and then I can just do whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, they'll be in college, but I just think now it would be very strange to just randomly change my last name. Yeah. Right? Probably. Yeah. That's off topic. OK, okay. so. <laughs> Moving on swiftly and professionally. <laughs> professionally. <laughs> I think that's the end. That's it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, I did start a pet. What? I did start a pet one. A pet altar? Yeah, since we were past. Yeah. So we have Zeus up there, his ashes. We have Hoover's ashes. We have, I don't know why that was awkward. No, it just it feels weird. But I have, like, pictures of my old pets and ashes of old pets and yeah. things. I don't know if anybody else... Well, I know other people do that. I've seen that on, like, um, other channels where people have done that with their I don't think pets. that's weird. I don't think it is either, I guess. I just think... I guess I think other people would think it was weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, people love animals more than they love humans, so no, I don't think A lot anyone of people do. Would, that's would true. think that was weird. Right? Yeah. Good point. I've thought about... Um, if my pet, when my cat passes, or if, if I'm still living, uh, cremating her and putting her in an uh, urn, mm -hmm. um, and you know, whenever I move, I can take her with me. That's true. Yeah. This could go to a whole nother level of conversation on the ashes, though, because like all my step siblings have passed. Their mother has their ashes in her house. Yeah. And all the ashes of their pets. And wants all those ashes put with her ashes when she passes. That's a lot of freaking boxes of ashes in one crazy house to be gathered. Yeah. Anyway, that's another crazy topic. That's probably not for the video. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Say happy holidays, everybody. Happy right? holidays. Have a cool Yule. Happy New Year. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Yes. Let's hope everybody has an excellent 2016. Here's to that. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>